Let's take a couple minutes to just highlight what Hughes for Brizango from Burkina Faso has been able to do in 2022, despite a couple setbacks. Now, at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Zango managed to grab the silver medal with a jump of 17.55 meters. But throughout the season, he got injured and was sitting out for a couple months. Let's dive back all the way to early in the season, February of 2022, he actually jumped 16.54 meters. Now, he was on pace to have a very consistent indoor 2022 season, just like he did last year. Remember last year, he actually broke the world indoor record with a jump of 18.07 meters in France early in January 2021. This year though, after that February jump that he had, he unfortunately got injured, suffered a heel injury, and that took him out of competition for multiple months. He had to rehab, he had to get back together. He didn't come back to competition until outdoors in June of 2022. Now, June 4th, 2022, he's competing in Spain. He finishes second place with a jump of 17.09 meters. This isn't that far, but it's significant because of how long he has been sitting out for the season. So for him to come back from that heel injury, which of course is significant when you're dealing with the triple jump, this was a great performance and boded well for where he might be going. Just a week later on June 11th, he's down in Mauritius competing at the African Championships, comes away with the win in 17.34 meters, again getting better and better week after week. Now, seven days later, June 18th, 2022, competing at the Paris Diamond League, he only finishes fourth place, but he jumped 17.25 meters. Now it wasn't better than his previous competition, but that consistency showed that he is really back from his injury and he is going to be jumping something big very soon. Enter the 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. Zango manages to jump 17.15 meters in the qualifying round, only behind Pedro Pablo Pichardo from Portugal. In the final though, Zango was hitting on all cylinders opening round jump of 17.55 meters that sealed up the competition for him. He also jumped marks of 17.38 as well as 17.49, so that consistency throughout the competition was well in effect. That earned him a silver medal in the triple jump, actually upgrading from his past two major competitions. Remember, Doha 2019, Zango got the bronze medal in the triple jump, which was actually Burkina Faso's first ever world championship medal. And then at the Olympic Games in Tokyo last year, he also got the bronze medal again, which again, Burkina Faso's first Olympic medal in track and field ever. So for Zango to now come to the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, come back from a heel injury, sat out for multiple months throughout the season, and to improve to a silver medal, this is a huge performance for him. Since then, he's competed twice. He jumped in Poland as well as in Lausanne, hasn't jumped nearly as far, but again, that Eugene performance was a huge marker for him. This shows that he is consistently progressing. He's able to deal with adversity and setbacks and come back to perform when it matters. Next year, going into the World Championships in 2023, Zango is only gonna be 30 years old. Now, you might think 30 years old is old, but Zango is still hitting on all cylinders. I think he's gonna have a lot more to say. Again, he's the world indoor record holder, 18.07 meters. He's very likely on pace to jump 18 meters outdoors and maybe even challenge for a gold medal. He said himself that he wants to continuously improve, improve, improve from bronze, bronze, silver, only gold next. So let me know what you think of Hughes Fabri Zango from Burkina Faso. Let me know what you think of his performances in the triple jump this year, specifically coming off injury and getting that silver medal at the world championships. And what do you think his prospects are for the coming years as we enter the world championships next year and also the Olympics in 2024. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.